yeah, I mean, I need to go, like, I really, I just need to be in a big parking lot so I can do starts and stops. So the because that's where I notice it the most. I don't notice anything when I'm on the road. Well, if your C8 Corvette is doing this, you probably need a new transmission. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Brink of Speed. Thank you for pressing that play button today. I hugely appreciate each and every one of you for joining me. It looks like the bad luck saga continues with my 2020 C8 Corvette. I don't know what to say other than this is really frustrating. I'm about to take you guys along with me to Classic Chevrolet to take this in and see what they think. I'm already pretty sure that it's not going to be good news. So let's get going. So that's right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm headed to Classic Chevrolet to take a ride with one of the mechanics, show him what it's doing, but man, what luck I've had with this car. It's unbelievable. It's got less than 18,000 miles on it and I'm having this transmission issue. So hopefully the car will do it while I'm showing the mechanic. So that right there was one of the things that my transmission is doing. When I start up from a stop, it engages very roughly. And then, let's see if it does it when I stop. it didn't do it there but I'm here at classic now so we'll see if we can get it to replicate for the mechanic so usually just starting up like that it kind of does one of those See, that's what I was feeling when it was here that first time and that's when I that's what made me say something because I thought your first gear was so now it's feathering the clutch perfectly of course <laughs> That's what, man, I told you, because I, I took it around my lot and I was like, this is weird. And then I took it for a spin with the tech and it was perfect. I'm like, this is almost even weirder. Yeah. Isn't that how it's supposed to go though? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could duplicate everything. Yeah. Didn't do it there either. <laughs> Figures. Yeah. Is there somewhere you notice it the most? Yeah, I mean, I need to go, like, I really, I just need to be in a big parking lot so I can do starts and stops. Because that's where I notice it the most. I don't notice anything when I'm on the road. It shifts fine. It's just uh, hang up between first and second. So, ladies and gentlemen, my GoPro failed me. Uh, this really, really sucks. Uh, it's not just my car that's failing me. My GoPro's failing me as well. So I hit record when Cody and I were in that parking lot and my car actually did what I was trying to show Cody multiple times. So you would have been able to see this on video. And of course, my GoPro somehow wasn't recording even though it said it was. So who knows with these GoPros, uh, they're very unreliable. But anyway, I need to explain what happens when I'm coming to a stop, number one, and number two, when I'm starting up. So you probably couldn't tell on that initial startup that I did right before I got to Classic Chevrolet that my car lunged forward. So basically what has happened is my dual clutch transmission has lost the ability to feather the clutch, not all of the time, but a lot of the time. And so when I'm starting from a stop, especially when I'm sitting there for you know a couple of minutes at a light, not usually at a stop sign, my car will feel like someone has dumped the clutch and, and it lunges forward and it sometimes even kind of does one of these deals where it rocks back and forth like they were not able to get the clutch and the gas properly executed the way that you're supposed to when you drive a manual transmission. Obviously, this is a computer driving a manual transmission because that's really what a dual clutch is. It's just a manual transmission being driven by a computer. So it's lost the ability to feather the clutch on the start. On the stop, 
where normally it would push the clutch in when you're pressing the brake and slowing down from second to first, but it's doing one of these because the computer is not pushing the clutch in and is actually just pressing on the brake alone. And so it's kind of like a stall out feeling. So that's what's going on. That's what you would have seen on that video. Again, I'm so sorry, I apologize. My GoPro just completely screwed up. So I wanted to fill you guys in on this because what you're gonna hear next from me is the conclusion and what's gonna actually happen to my car now. All right, so I just left Classic. Cody was able to get a transmission mechanic to go ahead and take this out for a drive with him. And they drove around and it, he was able to replicate exactly what I showed him to the uh, transmission mechanic. And so he is 100% convinced that this actually does need a new transmission. So the steps that I have to take to get that are now I have to bring this back into them and they will hook everything up to it. They will go for a drive. They will, you know, take readings off of their little computer thing and they will be able to report to GM exactly what's going on. They believe that GM is going to have them update the transmission, do a reset on the transmission and see if that fixes it but they know it's probably not going to fix it and then at that point they will have to let gm know this is not fixable and then they will order a tra transmission now joe the uh, service manager just told me that they have ordered transmissions in the past and that the last one they ordered took about 11 days to get here so I'm hoping that's the timeline that I get because he said the transmissions they've ordered in the past before that one took anywhere from one to two months to get here. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Hopefully that won't be the case with mine. Hopefully it'll get here very quickly. But man, you know, what a pain in the butt this has been. It's just one more thing that's happened to the Captain America car. But that's gonna do it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Wish me luck with how long it takes to get me a new transmission. I hope each and every one of you have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you guys out on the road. Thank you.